Instagram pictures. This was super requested, so I thought I'd do it. First, I just brighten it up a little bit on. Brighten it up a little bit on. Brighten it up a little bit on. Just tilt it to your liking. You can do it left or right, whatever. Um, my favorite filter probably to use is T1, and it just kind of gives like a cool vintage effect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I just put it in um, uh, JPEG, like the most high quality one, I think, just because I like my pictures to be as high quality as possible. And then... To alter the shape of the nose, we'll zoom in so the nose occupies most of the screen. Now we can play with its shape using the refine option without changing the other regions in the image. Now, let's slightly touch up the jawline. Widen the smile. Move the hair back to expose the forehead. Brighten it up a little bit. And finally, let's tuck in the patch of stray hair from the brow. As you can see, reshape can help us in many different scenarios, as long as we get to the right zoom level. Using patch can help us fix the teeth and remove some blemishes. Hold on a second, I'll enhance. Zoom in right here on the spot. The, the right zoom level. level. I'm uh, showing you the brand new IMT Paint Auto Tune app. So I had a bit of green to the highlights, and this works for all ethnicities, by the way. Bring it up a little bit on. Next, I'll reduce the curve setting until I'm happy with the contrast levels. Bring it up a little bit on. And I then added a touch of saturation. But we really shouldn't rely on our eyes. I suggest taking your selfies from eye level because it's most natural. However, there are no rules in filming. It's most natural. Next, I use the The right zoom level. but we really shouldn't rely on our eyes. There are no rules in filmmaking.